Hey guys, it's Alpha Blazing, and welcome back to a scorching hot new video of Splatoon 2. Now I'm here with part 8. Now today, a specific weapon came out. Actually, I won't show you in the weapon store, there's no point. I'm pretty sure you've heard of it. It's called the Squeezer. Now I had a test of it in the, um, in the, you know, sort of test fire room, and I'm not particularly fond of it. I mean, I didn't buy it, but I just tested it out just a bit on my own. Just so on camera, I didn't look too crummy, but... As you can see, in my spare time, I have got the hero shot. I just went round the story mode and, and did every, you know, every stage with the hero shot. So now I've got that, which is really cool. So I may as well just show that as the for the first round. But let's just change up our gear because it's not too swift, as you can tell at the moment. Let's go. I think I'd like to invest in some, I think, yes, we forgot some swim. That's cool. I like the idea of that. Uh, I reckon some, uh, what's, I think the good thing to run would be Ink Saver Main, maybe. Where's Ink Saver Main? Come on. It makes you be able to shoot your, obviously your main weapon for longer, so. Actually, maybe we should run some run speed up. <laughs> I find it weird when I say that, because if you're running run speed up, you know, you're actually running it. <laughs> it sounds really weird. Anyway, that's, that's just a little ironic, you know, I'm running run speed up. <laughs> Oh, I just find that amusing. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but it sounds funny. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the first match. Alrighty, here we are with the first match. Now, our choices are Manta Maria or what? While or while I wear house, <laughs> I sort of slurred that one a bit. Hey, I oh, know sometimes that happens. I know sometimes when I record, I'm under some sort of false pressure, and from there I just slur, or you know, I lose grammar skills, and it's just all whack. I don't know. Sometimes it happens. Oh well, I think it happens to the best of us. Anyway, I love the new walleye. Obviously in part 6, you guys, I'm assuming all of you have watched that. If you guys haven't been keeping up with this series, I highly recommend you do, because there are some really funny, raging moments in all of these videos. And obviously I try to captivate those moments in the thumbnail. I try to, you know, cut off all this side stuff and try to find the best moment when I'm confronting an enemy or something. And it looks really intense, and that's a really cool thumbnail. I always try to do that with the thumbnails for this game, because it's it's very hard to find many thumbnails for this game. These are one of those sort of games where it doesn't have many cutscenes. Of course, the story mode does. Of course, I use the, you know, most of the, you know, bosses as the thumbnails. So basically, that's what I did for that. But obviously, in this game, you know, there aren't many sort of solid cutscenes where there isn't much background fluff, you know? background sort of, you know, nonsense, so sometimes it's kind of difficult to find yourself a thumbnail for this, these sort of games, which I can understand difficult, you know? Now, I've, I've, I've never actually set any like goals on my video, but I mean, of course I'm already start, or only just started YouTube, so setting up like goals doesn't sound such a good idea, but maybe I should for this episode. First episode I set up a like goal, maybe at the end of the episode. In the meantime, I'll think of something that I could give you guys. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll think of something that I could say if we reach X amount of likes, we can, you know, I'll do this for you guys. If we reach 10 likes, we can get, you can get blah, you know? You guys will get blah or something. Who knows? So I'll just think about it while I'm playing. I don't know. We'll see what goes down. Uh, you need a chill over there? Okay, I've got burst bombs. I need to remember that. Burst bombs are one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful sub weapon in the entire game. It's pretty cheese, but I'm sorry, you just have to. I mean, you chuck a burst bomb, that's chip damage. About two shots later with a splatter shot, you're, you're dead. It's pretty simplistic and pretty easy to use. That's why it's the first weapon, because it's a very, you know, sort of easy weapon to use. Shoot me in the foot! Oh! Wait, that was a splatter shot. Oh, it's my friend counterpart, except I've got the hero version, so. I'm a hero, you can't deny that I'm the hero of the splatter shot. Yo, I'm not just some Autobot, Autobot. Oh, fruit, 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 fruit! Lovely, delicious fruit platters. Yes, I love them too. Oh my god. Anyway, we are. Oh, shoot, we only have 10 seconds left. And we are not in the best of ways at the moment. Okay, let's just. Be aggressive and push to the front, because we have nothing better to do. Alright, yes, good, good. Oh, fruit. Yes, I chucked it at the last second. I'm pretty sure that was me. 
Ooh, that's not nice. I don't like the look of that one. Ow! Ow! <laughs> oh god, I amuse myself. And I hope I amuse you guys too. <laughs> I hope so. I hope you guys just don't watch me because, you know, you feel sorry for me. I'm one of those small YouTubers who has to start somewhere. I hope you guys actually find me amusing. Alright. Now, oh, la, 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 la. now for the next weapon, I mean, I have to reach 9k in coins before, over 9k, it's like 9.8k or something, before I can actually buy the squeezer. So I may as well just, you know, m m mess around with other weapons before. So that's what I should do prior to my getting the squeezer. So what weapon should it be? I want to try and stay away from these front page weapons because they obviously are in my comfort zone and I want to try and, you know, get out of that. I mean, these are even in my comfort zone and they're second page. Even my second page weapons are sort of comfort... Oh, shoot. Well, that was fun. Don't you just love it? It's really funny because in my circumstances, what happens is basically I'll pick a weapon, I'll pick my gear, that'd be fine. I exit out. I say, yes, I agree, and to the terms of service of the being done with, you know, with my gear and weapons. <laughs> and after that, it'll be no one's in the lobby. And I'll be waiting there for two to five minutes, just, you know, chilling, pondering my mind. And then here I'll be, and I'll be screaming again, you know. <laughs> but of course, when I want to talk to you guys mid, um, mid, what's it called? Mid lobby. You know, when I'm in the lobby and when I'm waiting for a turf war match, it'll last about two seconds and then, you know. Oh, usually I just don't bother talking because I'm never going to know if it's long or short lobby. And if, you know, if I talk, I may as well talk for all of it. And if I do, you know, what happens is it'll, it might be a long lobby. So I don't want to take those chances. I guess I could just talk for a bit of it. And if it goes for an extensive amount of time, I guess I could cut it. But... You guys should really comment below what you guys want. Like, I can talk mid-lobby and then maybe cut if it goes for too long. You guys need to let me know how I can improve my videos. I, I say it in my description. Let me know any way you, I could improve the quality or style in my videos. Let me know a few ways. If you have a, you know, a way that would really help or make it seem cooler or my videos more, you know, enjoyable, please let me know. I really want to know this stuff. Because obviously having just started YouTube, I really need to know what people are interested in and what people want to see and what people don't want to see. I mean, a lot of YouTubers just cut out all the, you know, nonsense and all the sort of just chit chat and just stuff that's no fun to watch. Like, of course, a lot of people will just literally cut to the chase in their videos and they'll just cut to the, you know, the important stuff, which is obvious. I mean, nobody wants to watch you know, just some trash of just, you know, someone, let's say it's a first person shooter. Nobody just wants to watch someone just walk around for a while in those, um, you know, online sort of, you know, in, on, in those online sort of gameplay, sort of with a, a lot of people. You, no one wants to just watch you just walk around and not kill anyone. That's not fun. I mean, whenever I'm watching someone play con, I've always never liked it when they sort of just walk around and there's nothing going on and they're just switching up their weapon and they reload constantly. It just gets a little boring. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, you, that's how a lot of videos like that are, so it's hard to sort of not break that trend with those sort of videos, but I just don't like that. Oh god, they left their stain on our side. Ouchie mama. That is a painful one. Jeez, I can even feel the sh shiver down my spine, it's that bad. Anyway, Teddy, what's going on, mate? That's my dog. Teddy, what's going on, mate? Let me know. I am not Scottish, and I, uh, I, I'm sorry if I offended you. I am very sorry. You can, you can, you can, ex you Scottish people watching, exaggerate the Australian accent all you want. I actually don't care. Uh, if you guys really are offended by that, I, 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 you have all right to offend the Australian accent on behalf of me. So go ahead, do it. <laughs> I don't even care. Because I, I kind of deserve it after that. I mean, if you guys really feel like it, go ahead. I couldn't care less. Because I deserve it. Oh, you freaking Fruit Loop on a Friday. It actually is Friday, by the way. Just to let you know that. Oh, hold on. Let me just check what the dog desires. Because who's to say what? Okay, I am back. I'm sorry for that. It's just my dog was, you know, he was barking at the door. So I was wondering, oh, what's up? And, you know, I dealt with that. So now we're back here with a new match. And we're back at Walleye, the wonderful... Wisdom filling walleye, I guess. 
All right, I'm here with the jet squelcher doolies. I don't actually care if you want to correct me on that. I really could not care less. I'm going to call them what I want to call them. I know they're called the squelcher doolies or the jet squelcher doolies. I really don't care what they're called. I think they're called the squelcher doolies, but I really don't give, to be honest. I really couldn't really, you know. I, there are more important things in the world to invest my care into at the moment. Whoa, watch it. Ah, yes, son of a... Freaking! Wait, what is that? Did you see that? You surely you saw that. He was sort of like pivoting and hugging his um hydra spikeling. That's hilarious. I'm sure you saw that sort of you know freaky lag moment. <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe that should be the thumbnail. <laughs> oh god, man, that is hilarious. Oh, watch it. Okay. Did I detect anyone? No, I didn't. Okay, that is fantastic. Okay. I, I just find it hard using the range with this weapon. I don't know, I'm just not great with it and I need to learn to get better with weapons like these. I know, I just prefer the doolies and the dapple doolies. They're just more offensive in my opinion. And I just don't... I'm just not good at using range on this weapon. I don't know, I just find myself being overly aggressive. Hold on. Oh, I got a few hits. I got a few, but not enough. Hold on. Okay, no. I'm just skeptical. Where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Oh, hello. Alright, bye. Nice to meet ya. Nice to see ya. Goodbye, friend. I'll see you again someday. Okay, I see you. See you too. I'll see you too. It is true. I'll see ya. Oh no! Goodbye to you too. Fruit. You are one annoying dude. I swear that looks like a drill bit. You know those. Like a sort of electrical drill. When the Hydra is charging up, it looks like an electrical drill. That sort of. A jackhammered sort of thing. I don't know. It looks really weird like that. You know, with the sort of motion of it spinning, it sort of looks like a jackhammer's dr drill or spit or something. I don't know. Okay, just I'm thinking and being creative with it. Oh, we loaded four K scope. I, I don't even mind that that got me. To be fair, I, I'm happy for any sniper to get me. I mean, it doesn't even bother me that much because I know the struggles of being a sniper. I mean, so from time to time I'll be a little bit triggered. It's just like. Hello, I managed to, like, try just as hard as you and get nowhere. So, I don't know. It's really weird. Yeah, so look at that. It looks like some sort of wind, like some sort of drill. When the, you know, the wind just sort of... Ugh, what do you even call that? I don't even know what you'd call it. Like the sort of spinning notion. You can call it that. When, when, ugh, when the spinning notion is effect, it looks like a sort of drill bit. See, look at that. Oh, no, not that. No, well, it's firing. It's when the wind, you know, the sort of sort of direction motion is in effect and it's showing you which way it's spinning and all the rest of it, you know, that's when, you know, it's it's really, it's colours, sure, hold on. Okay, great, I think we might have this one, I, I reckon this one might be with us, I reckon we ha have this one, actually, so, yeah, we do, look at that. We, we won, son, what you gotta do to win, it's true, just gotta be optimistic, I'm trying hard not to be so pessimistic, it's kinda going in my favour. Let's go, check if Salmon Run is open for us to do. I'm kind of doing copyright here to another song's rhythm, it's true. Sorry, I'll try. I mean, I'm, I'm not actually putting their song in, so I mean, it's not copyright at all. So, I mean, not really, okay? I'm sorry. If you guys really want to put a copyright claim, I don't see the point. I'm just slightly, you know, inspired by that rhythm. I just slightly use the rhythm, you know? It doesn't really matter anyway. See ya. I swear, every time I look at rank, it's not clan blitz. I swear this this game must have something against me. Tell me if you'd prefer me to make shorter, faster videos or longer, more fulfilling ones. Cause comment below what you prefer. Would you prefer me to make like record for 20 minutes at a maximum? Record a maximum of 25 minutes. And then from there cut out all the, you know, boring lobby time and all the rest of it. And then from there we, you know, make do with what we've got. Or would you like me to do it the way I'm doing it now? You know, record maybe half an hour. And then it turns out to be a, you know, 25 minute video. I, I, I'm just wondering what you guys would prefer me to do. Would, would you prefer more shorter videos or sort of less but longer videos? Like 25 minute videos once a day or maybe 15 minute videos or even less, maybe twice a day. It's really up to you guys. I don't know. I mean, in Australia's internet isn't good as it is, but I mean, you know, uh, I could try. 
you know, a five minute video never does never takes long. So this is why, you know, montages are really good for my channel, because they take no time at all to make. I mean, that's for everyone, but of course Australia's um, internet is not that good, so I mean, it does take time, even for a 25 minute one, it'll take me, you know, maybe three, four hours to upload it. It's a bit ridiculous, I know. To all you people in the States were like, you know, it only takes me half an hour to upload something of that size, you know? But yeah, lucky you. <laughs> I wish. But not quite for us all down here in the South, in Australia. <laughs> Unfortunately not. But we've got our ups. We've got Tim Tams. we got the lovely Tim Tams instead. we got Tim Tams. we got we got a lot of stuff. we got Vegemite. I mean, I don't particularly love Vegemite to be fair, but you know, it's Vegemite. It's still pretty good. Apparently you're not Australian if you don't like it. That's what they say, but I don't particularly love it. I still find myself being an Australian though. Uh, can you, yeah, good, great. Can we, yeah, let's score some buckets. Hey, what do you know? They're both on me. Alpha Blazing scores two for the San Francisco Col the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> I said Golden, I don't even know, man. For the San Francisco Golden Gate Warriors. Damn, son. Okay, uh, I'm no bandwagon, but I just like them. If I was to, I don't know, I won't explain my reason. Wait, what? That's a wrap? How? Maybe, do, do we not meet our quota? Oh, we didn't meet our quota. That's tragic. Really? We didn't meet our quota? We didn't meet our quota? Really? That really surprises me. That was only three as well. That's trend. Wait, but there were there was only three of us. But still, we should have got that, I reckon. Ooh, I really want to get those boots, man. All right, I'm gonna see you guys in the next match real quick. So let's go, slickety slickety split. Goodbye. Alrighty, we are back here with another salmon run match that hopefully won't turn won't turn out as garbage as the last one did, because that one was complete dirt, as you can tell. Teddy, can you chill real quick? Can you just chill? Ted, come on. Chill. Teddy? Teddy? I don't know if you could hear that, but he's barking, and the next door neighbor's dog is also barking, so... If you can hear that, I am sorry. I cannot do much about it. I could always cut the video and then, you know, put him outside or something. I don't know. It's, uh, maybe I won't, though. I don't see the point. Maybe, if it, if it gets really bad, maybe. Maybe I will, but I don't see the point at the moment. It's not that bad. Okay. Oh, we got some nice, 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 that golden eggs. Okay, you are gone, 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 girl. You know that one that I think that's a book or a movie. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. Anyway, off we go to a faraway place. Here we go to a faraway place where there are salmon, salmons to be run after. Wow, that was really bad. I'm sorry. I will not try and make a joke like that again. I'm sorry. It is terrible. Okay, someone forgot to wash the dishes last night. That's what it is with these. Oh, jeez. I'm not getting water bound by you, little... Over here, people. No! 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 Bad dog! Bad dog! I'm speaking to two dogs. <laughs> I'm speaking to that thing and to Teddy. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, that sounded awful. Oh, that. <laughs> oh my god, man. Okay, that's wave one. Why the hell would you just do that splash down for no reason? I'm gonna make a splash splash down to do do the end. You know you're not gonna feel it. Oh, I'm the 52 gal. Well, that's just fantastic, isn't it, everybody? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Where are they approaching from, everybody? Let me know. Um, usually they have a... I'm assuming they're from over here, because that's where everyone else is. Uh, okay, can we not do that? Okay, okay, that was a bit of a problem. We could always bomb rush. That would actually really be... That would be easy, actually, if we bomb rushed it. Bomb rushed over this dude and in there. Bomb rush and just spam, you know? That's actually a really good way to get rid of them, actually. Hold on. But I don't think I should use another one, because, you know, I don't think it would be wise. Hold on, there we go. Easy peasy! Goody two-shoes! No, I'm not. I'm not a goody two-shoes. I've got myself in trouble a few times. Trust me, I've had detention before at school. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, don't. I mean, if you haven't had detention before and people call you goody two-shoes, well, that's okay. I mean... Sometimes you don't intend on being a goody two-shoes, but you just don't seem to get yourself in trouble. 
I mean, if you haven't been told off before, I think that's another level, but I mean, not ever being, you know, in detention, that's far enough, but never being told off, that is another level, but I slightly applaud you for never getting yourself in trouble like that. It's pretty difficult. Like, I'm sure emotions seep your brain and you're like, oh, it's so bad when I get myself in trouble. Well, that's not what's running through your head. You're just like, oh, it's so bad when I do something awful to this person because they've done something or something, done something to someone else, you know. Some people be like that, you know. Bullies are awful people. Sometimes they, you know, make things worse for your life and, you know, you feel like, you know, doing something awful to them in return, but in... in just to let you guys know, that's probably not the most wise of decisions, because I don't know, that's sort of a bit of sage advice from me, but um, I just think it's better just not to retaliate. It'd probably just be better. I know people call you a snitch if you tell on, but I mean, you could either just confront them and say, I've had enough, mate, you're gonna stop, or, you know, I'm gonna, you know, make something serious happen to you. So you could confront them and say, I've had enough, and if they don't listen to that, I guess you have to tell someone. Because, I mean, retaliating, of course, it seems like the, you know, typical, you know, movie thing to do is to retaliate and get yourself in a fight. But, of course, it's not the best thing to do. Because, obviously, you know, all you're getting yourself into is trouble, really. You're gonna, you're gonna get yourself into trouble because, you know, someone else has done something awful to you and it's, it, there's really no point. There, there is literally no reason to do it. I mean, of course there is, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll mind to say, you know, attack first, ask questions later. But, you know, I would probably just recommend not to raid your onslaught and just, you know, maybe if they really don't want to listen to you, you're just, you know, fed up. I'll admit I, I've attacked. I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying this as if I've never done this before. I've obviously, you know, everyone, sometimes people, you know, they just attack because they're sort of sick of things and they just don't think, you know, adults or anyone will be able to help them with these issues and, you know. I'm coming off very deep, aren't I? <laughs> Jeez. I need to really relax. Oh my god, are you kidding? Well, now you're nice and pink at least. <laughs> at least I made you a nice and pink, pinky colour. I hope you enjoy. At least you'll look good at your funeral. Okay, uh, we've got three seconds and we've met our quota. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's all our waves cleared. Okay, we can't do anything about you, but we're both, we're both we're all firing at him, and nonetheless, that's kind of funny. I like that. I'm just gonna see you guys right then. Hold on, guys, feel, feel, feel zen. Relaxation, it's about to feel like a great sensation, so I'll see you guys then with the next match, and the next batch of the matches. We are back with another match, ayy. Let's get it down at Sam and Run. Let's have some fun. It's going down like timber. All right. I love that. That song was good, but it was, you know, nice and spicy and hot. You know, that, so that song was pretty good. It was very good, actually. I liked it. It's going down. I'm yelling timber. That one song. I actually sung that in one of my, um, uh, in one of my Odyssey videos. It was part, what was it? it was Yeah, part seven. It actually had a funny ending, I put a twist on it because of something funny that happened and maybe oh, I've, I've seen people put cards at the top of their videos, like there's these weird little, you know, like sort of white cards, like white sort of horizontal cards you can put at the top of your video that will link you to something, which is really cool and I might want to, you know, consider doing that with some of my hits, so maybe I should, you know, put a card, uh, I don't know, I'll try and find a way to do it, maybe. Maybe I'll look it up. How do you put cards on your videos? Because I'm quite new, obviously, to this um, to this uh, website, this awesome YouTube, this awesome goodness of YouTube. I'm new to it. I mean, I, I like it for what it's worth. I mean, you know, I don't get many views, unfortunately, but that's always the, the start off. You're never gonna, you know, start off a hero. No one starts off a big one, a big shot. I don't think so, at least. I mean, some people went boom. I mean, fair enough. If they went boom, that's because people thought they were good, which is fine. I mean, it's all good on them. I'd, I'd feel the same. I'd feel, you know, I'd feel pretty good about myself if, you know, I went boom at one point, which probably won't happen, let's be real. It's probably not going to happen, unfortunately. You know, not everyone can just go boom, unfortunately. You gotta have it in you. You gotta have the stuff in you to go boom. Boom, boom! I'll tell you what's good, the summonids are not too difficult to take out, which is rather helpful. So, you know, an alien 4k, I'm trying to get good with that weapon. I'm trying to practice with snipers to improve with them so I can give you guys, 
you know, good sniper gameplay, so you guys can watch me and not go, oh, Alpha, bl oh, Alpha Blazing, he sucks. <laughs> he sucks with snipers. I mean, a lot of people, it's very, it's very, you know, uncommon. I mean, a lot of people like snipers, but it's very uncommon for people to say, ooh, Jumpin' Jimmy, I love me a good sniper. <laughs> not many people are like that. Not many pe it's very rare to find yourself a person who will say, Yippee, snipers! I mean, I, I'm, so, I'm not like that, but I mean, I try to, you know, try and be sort of open-minded and try to like snipers and try to think, hey, when I'm good with them, I'll, I'll say, hey, I like a sniper every now and then. I mean, I don't love them, I prefer a shooter. I mean, a lot of most people do, but you know, I think it would be cool to get good with them. Because if I'm good with snipers, then I have a gift. I mean, some people are really good with them, but it's, uh, it's the majority of people are not fantastic at them, let's be real. Mm, I'm trying to get that. Oh, jeez. There's a small fry! Oh, far out. I'm about to get fried. You know, right? I nearly got fried. Hold on. Do we have a quota? Yeah, we've met the quota. Great. Okay. I mean, I've got three inkjets. I just seem to ignore my specials in Salmon Run. I don't know why, I just do. I'm, I know, it's really weird. I've got this habit of just somehow ignore. In Turf War, it's ignoring myself. In Summon Run, it's ignoring my special. Well, actually, it's ignoring both, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know why I have a habit of doing both in Summon Run, but I know I just ignore the uh, sub in um, Turf War. Did that go in? Yeah, it did, actually. I <laughs> it was closing, like, the second that happened. You know, that was really whack. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, well done, matey! You know, I've already played it in a private battle with a friend. I've played Clan Blitz so I could sort of know what it's about and not be a, you know, complete scrub when I first play it. I hope it does change soon, because I would really like that. That would be fantastic. I'd really love to show you guys some Clan Blitz and what it's all about. I'm pretty sure you guys might have a, you know, you guys might have an inkling about it, but, you know, whatever. Who knows? I'm sorry, that pun, I just had to say it. If you guys don't know what that means, um, you guys might. An inkling means like an idea or a, you know, a thought that might, you know, a thought about that or why it might be so. That's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much what an inkling is. It's an idea. Oh, uh, how long have we been going for? So we've been going for 36 minutes, I think. I have a slight suspicion that the episode just just might have to come to a close here. So I'll see you guys out in the plaza and I will address the end of this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. I mean, this episode has been a bit better than others. I mean, most of the time I've just been going L after L after L after L. But this one's not been so bad. I mean, I've had a few L's, but I've had a few victories. I mean, it's pretty even. This has been the most optimistic episode I think I've ever had. So that's a great and you guys should leave a like for that. And I'm gonna give you guys a like goal, actually, because I figured, hey, I don't know, maybe I'm not getting much likes because I don't give people a reason to like. I mean, I mean, if you enjoy a video, you naturally click it right. But, I mean, sometimes, you know, it's good to have a reason, too. So if, you, if we reach, I mean, it sounds pretty unrealistic, but if we reach 10 likes, I'm gonna put together a little um, montage, a bit of a rage, funny moments montage of just, you know, Splatoon 2 stuff. And I hope you guys will enjoy that. So if we reach 10 if we reach 10 likes on this video by the end of this year by the end of this year if this can reach 10 likes I'll give you guys a bit of a you know 2018 rage montage so that'll be really cool so if you guys did enjoy please like with your flaming fingers please comment something positive or a suggestion towards how I could improve the quality of my videos please share with your friends and with other people who you think would enjoy the type of videos so they could potentially subscribe and build the community a bit. And please yourself subscribe if you have not already for more great gaming content on the channel. We're going to have more Let's Plays going up because Super Mario Odyssey is, you know, drawing to a close. I'm going to have to think of new stuff. If you guys would I'll have a Twitter poll going up after this episode and I'll say, hey, comment below a few games that you'd like me to do a Let's Play on and I'll do it perhaps. So until next time, guys, this is Alpha Blazing, firing away.